Okay, everyone, welcome back to my channel. Um, it's been a while. Today, I wanted to give you guys another art tutorial. Now, this is something I recently figured out how to do, and I just wanted to share because I, I feel like it's so cool. It's so it it just adds a lot of spice to your drawings. Um, this tutorial is going to be about creating your own sun flares in your artwork. Um, sun flares, like those little rainbowy things. Um, here's some of my drawings that have that in it. But anyways, let's get right on to the tutorial. Okay, so I have a background layer, of course, the blank template, and then I'm going to add a new layer. I always like to leave the background layer just white, just in case anything goes wrong. Um, I don't know, let's just add a dark color. I kind of want that more blue, honestly. Now, if you if you change this little color right here in Photoshop, you could hit Control Backspace on your computer and it fills the entire layer. Now that we have our background, I am going to select this uh, soft brush right here. I will link down below the brush set that I use for Photoshop. It's my all-time favorite. It was made by Sakimi-chan and I've been using it for like five years. It's my absolute favorite. Anyways, next we are going to go and pick a red color. You can do this with a bunch of different colors. Not just like the rainbowy one, but you know, sun flares have rainbow in it, so why not? Now, there, there are several different ways that you can do this. You can do like the, the little line stuff like that. Okay, hold on. Let me redo that because that was <clears throat> bad. You could do the little ray line things, whatever that is, or you could do like the little line like that. So to continue on, <laughs> I like to use my selection tool a lot when it comes to shading or coloring. Sorry. Um, so that's what I'm gonna do with these little rays. I'm gonna take a yellow, a bright, vibrant yellow, and I'm just gonna add the yellow color as the next color line. Then you're going to take a green, like I said, you can use a lot of other different colors, not just rainbow. I'm gonna use rainbow for the sake of it. Um, blue, that nice vibrant blue in there. And then last but not least, purple. Do, 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 do. Urgh, okay. Now that we have that all colored in, I'm just gonna get get rid of this for right now. Get that out of here. Okay, now that we have our little rays, sun flare stuff, I'm gonna go to this smoothing tool, I think that's what it's called, and just kind of drag out. That was not what I wanted to do. Okay, now that I have the tool actually sucked, I'm just gonna drag out, make the points a bit more pointier. Do that like that. And it doesn't even have to be perfect because what we're gonna do afterwards is we're gonna go up to filter, blur, go to motion blur. Now you can you can change the direction of the motion blur like that with the little wheel. And then I'm just gonna turn this up a bit to you just play around with it to find out. Now the next key thing that you need to do is play with the blending modes. And I like I like going to this one. Okay, that one's a bad one. Um, I like going to pin light a lot. Um, it just kind of depends on the colors you're using in your drawings, because sometimes you need different stuff. Or I like to go to these ones. I think screen, no, this one, linear dodge is one of my favorites to use. So yeah, and you could just kind of play around with the colors. You can also add a little glow to it. I'm just gonna use white. Hopefully that looks good. A little glowy glow. 
So can, you can see how it gives it like that like nice rainbow effect. I might actually go and blur this a little bit more with that motion blur. There we go. See? Beautiful. Doesn't that look great? I l Since I figured out this effect, I have been using it in all my drawings. I'm not even joking. It is so beautiful to me. It's beautiful. Um, there are a few other ways that you can do this. So, like I said before, let's go back to that little red line that I had, right? Let's turn the smoothing up just a tad bit. So, oh, you can draw that little smiley red line right there. Just get that nice smile in. And you're going to do that with the rest of the colors, but you're going to layer them. So... To, I always forget on this one, I like to do the little smudge thing, so I like to go through and smudge to give it. Okay, there we go. Now, now, we go to motion blur. Look at that. It's so pretty, isn't it? It's so pretty, pretty. Okay, and then you're going to go and add the... What is this called? What is this thing called? Look at that. Oh my gosh. Just look. It's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. Okay, now I'm going to once again add that little light bit of white. That Okay, a bit of white in the background just to give it that hazy glow. Okay, so there's the smile. Now, the last um, little rainbow sun flare that you can do is called a bokeh. And the bokehs are like the little circles that you see that are blurred out in photos. I love them a lot. Why did I turn that? Down? Okay, pick your red. And this time I'm gonna go to the hard brush just because it's easier to make circles. Um, I'm just gonna do circle. Now with with the bokeh effect you can use this a lot in backgrounds too and you can just you can blur it out more so it looks like it has a different depth of field but it still has that shine that makes sense i can i can show you it in some of my drawings here okay now we're gonna go pick our yellow now with this one you're just gonna kind of do that like kind of layer it on top like this and you're, gonna, you're also gonna do that with the rest of the colors. Kind of have them spread out like that. And you could do this in any direction too. Like the circles don't have to be layered in this exact direction. We're just doing it for tutorial sake. You are going to go back up to motion blur. Whoa, that is crazy. Let's kind of play around with that a little bit, see what we like. Uh, that's looking that's looking pretty good okay back to linear dodge and then with this one i like to go to field blur in photoshop um and turn up the iris blur just a little bit okay and then once again i will add a little bit of white behind this to really make them pop out and give it that nice sun flare effect. All right. Yeah. Okay. This is, these are your brilliant sun flares and you can play around with this technique and use different shapes. These are just like the basic ones that I have used in my artwork. Um, I hope you guys found this tutorial very helpful. And hopefully I can come out with more videos soon. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.